is not the teacher that chooses what the child is going to do. Who chooses what he's going to do is himself. The choice of the teacher is very much in the background because we will not put in an environment anything that we don't want a child to choose. The whole curriculum of this age group, let's say three to six, or from birth to three, the, or from six to nine, or nine to 12, the whole curriculum is in the materials and activities that are proposed. So whatever the child will choose is a part of his curriculum. Let's say that the child all the time chooses geography. Then I am going to say to him, I would like to show you today a little bit of math. I got some numbers there that I just brought today, if you could. And very often they are in geography and they'll say to me, I don't feel like going there. And I say, OK, when you feel like, call me. And passes a couple hours. And, and by the end of the day, say, I forgot to call you again because I have these numbers. Next day when he comes, I would say, oh, today we are going to start by numbers. So I gave him a choice. He could not grab it. He was too far away from being interested in numbers. Then I am going to introduce him to a new reality that I am fascinated by and that he becomes fascinated with. So the introductions, the presentations that a Montessori teacher gives to a child about the environment are given to balance, to balance his interests and give him a global approach, a total approach on the curriculum that a child of this age group is supposed to know. So a parent sometimes asks me, how are they going to do if they don't have a list? The list is in the environment. Whatever I will put in the environment is a part of this very basic curriculum that the child of this age is to come. And the task of the adult then is not to fill him in, but is to introduce him to a new reality, a new area that he is to discover his interest. And you never know when he will catch it. And you have, as you observe, you can see that suddenly they are so much working on the numbers that geography doesn't exist for them for this week. And they are more and more involved in the development of the manipulation, discovering what a unit is, what a 10 is, what a 100 is, manipulating them, discovering the age of their parents by dealing with the beads or, or squares or whatever, and being able to relate to quantity.